Welcome back to Comparisons of Mobile and Desktop GPUs channel Goma Mike. Today I prepared for you a massive battle between GTX 990 SLI for desktops versus GTX 990 SLI for laptops. Rules of benchmarking. First of all, no overclock was done on these GPUs. We are using a mix of 990 GPUs in some cases. Most of the time I'm using my personal EVGA GTX 990 SLI. My CPU is i7-4790K without overclock, 16GB of RAM, 1866MHz. Motherboard is Asus Maximus Hero 7. For GTX 990M SLI we are using Sager MP9377S. i7-4810MQ replaceable CPU up to 3.8GHz, 60GB of DDR3 RAM, 1600MHz. Desktop GPU has a little advantage of faster RAM and CPU, but overall difference in average frames during results are fair and carefully calculated. Source of this benchmark is my official website www.glaptops.com where I and a few of my friends created GPU library, project where we are planning to store lots of benchmarks from mobile and desktop GPUs. You can go through many GPUs, check their performance on Full HD and 4K resolution, sort and filter them to your own comparisons. Some benchmark results can differ from your experience. We try to get as close as possible and collect all the information to give you an idea what's the difference between both. We understand that sometimes numbers can change due to driver updates and different setups. If you see a mistake in our library and it's stuck there like a splinter in your eye, please contact me and I can fix it straight away. If you also add source of benchmark or video, I can hyperlink it directly to library so viewers can see more details. This is your library, so please take care of it if it needs some attention. But now back to this battle. Explanation of numbers is quick to understand. As usual, we set the settings to ultra, calculate average frame rate. We will show you also smallest, average and highest frames that occur during this test. Remember that game is unplayable under 30 FPS and the picture will cut and lag. These two GPUs in SLI don't have any problems with Full HD, but we will see also how well 4K performs. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, laptop GPUs are able to push it to 4K. I don't have all numbers yet, but if you stay updated soon we will add more numbers and hardware to our library. Now let's see the games and the frames. Let's start with Assassin's Creed Unity and see how well these powerful GPUs perform. Average on desktop 90 SLI it's 80 and 90 m SLI 63 FPS. There is significant difference but surprisingly laptop 90 m is handling this game very well. Evidence for that is also 4K resolution benchmarks. 38 compared to 25 are very interesting numbers and laptop GPUs shouldn't be embarrassed for this at all. Also on SLI we had big frame drops and game is unstable due to optimization. We will continue with Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. 142 compared to 93. Obviously desktop 990s are crushing a laptop brother, but 93 is great result and if you have screen that supports more than 60Hz, you can with lowering your settings reach up to 120 frames easily for smoother gameplay. 4K on 990 SLI is 56 on average with huge up and down drops of frames. We didn't manage to get 4K results of 990M yet. If you stay updated in our library, this will change very soon. Please visit glaptops.com for viewing the library directly. Now we will look at Dying Light. SLI profile is a bit weird for a few GPUs. Especially for a laptop, right now we are waiting for SLI profile to be fully optimized. 75 frames on laptop with quiet drops of frames compared to 107 on desktops. Fantastic results. In this we can see that 90M SLI is truly 30% of performance below 90 in few cases. This is one of them. In the library you can click on hyperlink of results and look directly video of benchmark if the number is underlined. Game number 4 in our benchmarking list is Far Cry 4. We managed to get both Full HD and 4K results. Look at this ladies and gentlemen, absolutely stunning performance. 70 FPS compared to 99, laptops are doing great. 4K is different story on desktops, you can enjoy this game on Ultra to its full potential with 60 plus frames. Sometimes the game can lag with SLI and if performance goes below 55 FPS, some people complain about weird stuttering. 
I personally felt it on my 980 SLI and I was forced in some moments to lower the settings with anti-aliasing to 2x takes AA, which was pretty stable. Shame about SMMA, that's not supportive for SLI. It leaves strange ghosting pictures after entering first time during game into your menu. We will look at Elder Scrolls Skyrim. 137 compared to 132 are really close results. We didn't use graphics EMB mode. I have EMB installed with 150 graphic modes on 980 SLI and I get around 50 FPS stable on 4K. I think that SLI is not really used to its full potential and uh, that these GPUs can squeeze a bit more from Skyrim as it's a nearly 4 years old game. Still fantastic though. Shadow of Mordor is pretty hardcore and can eat lots of your VRAM if you have a high texture pack. GTX 90 and 4 laptops had 8 gigs of VRAM. I think it will be great to uh, have the same feature on desktop GTX 90. If we look at the frames, we can see 145 compared to 95, what's around 40% of lower performance for laptops. 4K on 90 SLI is around 42 FPS. I believe that even 90 M SLI will handle it with around 25 to 30 frames. SLI is not framed with this game, by the way. For example, R9 295X2 can push it up to 57 FPS on average. Let's look at Dragon's Age Inquisition. I have for you Full HD and 4K numbers. 117 compared to 73 is a big jump. Nearly 40 frames on average. Game is pretty hardcore with its requirements. We can see that also on 4K. 90M SLI is not managing to reach higher than 30 FPS. Lowering settings from Ultra is the only way. I think very important for benchmarking is Crisis 3. This game is just one of those habits for each person dedicated to benchmarking. 90 compared to 80. Single GPUs will show bigger gap, but in SLI as Crisis is not the best for we still manage pretty good results. Little disappointment is 45 on 4K. I really hoped 90 SLI will push it higher. Lowering settings again is the way to go. Last game for today will be Tomb Raider from 2013. We have some serious frames as we are looking at 225 compared to 175. Also 75 on 4K is kick ass and that's the way it should be. In my opinion GTX 90 M SLI will push it at least to 50 on 4K, but right now I haven't seen the result, cannot confirm it yet. So guys, what do you think? Are you happy with the results? If you were curious as I was before and now you can see the difference is obvious. Desktop still stays on the top of the crop and we still didn't overclock these GPUs. But don't forget mobile GPUs can be overclocked also. Nvidia recently cancelled that possibility for mobile GPUs but after complaints from many users they roll it back and you are able to overclock again with upcoming drivers. To measure the performance exactly is quite impossible. It really depends on many things, scenes, hardware and etc. But I really believe you get your answer in my video and it help you understand this gap between laptop and desktop performance is getting smaller and this is very interesting. I believe this video will raise lots of questions and arguments in comment section. Just to let you know, I'm not siding with any of these GPUs. Thank you for watching, please rate this video, give it thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I will try hard to bring you the best information and comparisons as possible. Don't forget to visit our website www.glaptops.com to view the GPU library directly. If you have any contribution or suggestions, contact me personally and we can discuss it and fix the values. I'm looking forward for cooperation. Take care guys and see you soon. G -Mac.